Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the OC World Cup 2022. It is Monk the Non here. Joining me today to bring you this match is JTB Jordan the Bear. How you doing? Thank you, man. I'm amazing. How about yourself, Monk the Don? What a pleasure it yeah. is to be here alongside you to cast the Australia Thailand match, man. Yeah, Singer. absolutely an honor. Yeah, so Australia coming in as the 60, Thailand coming in C27. And this is the first match of the second day. We had a few matches yesterday, a few upsets. Uh, did see Singapore taking over Japan. So you never know what's in store for you, no WC. And hope we can see one here, eh? Yeah, nah, the, some of those matches were crazy yesterday, man. We keep that up all night tonight. Um, I'm, I'm one happy uh, happy chapper for the weekend. Um, but this 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 could be it, to be honest with you. I'm a big, you know, all of us, uh, we're both Australia, you know, from Australia here. So we've got that low-key, low-key bias. But man, they are, <laughs> they could really take them for a run for the money. Because this Thailand team, man, is, is crazy. Phantasma? With those qualifier oh. performances last week was nuts and with a player like in before on the team i can't wait yep. to see how he plays on this because someone someone that capable of of ranking up to such a high high rank i'll always just say man all these maps are just nothing to them exactly they can absolutely just pop off here and now we're getting into the pick band phase looks like jordan lr7 has won the roll by six there so already starting off for a good lead from australia and um they're gonna go ahead and secure that pick order yeah, but yeah, that though, you know. Looking at the uh, qualifier scores here, and Australia actually beating Thailand out on multiple of the maps. It looks like only the Nomad 2 really was uh, was what Thailand got the upper edge in. So we'll see if they are, if any of the teams have done their research on one another and, and what they're going with with the strategy. Of course, the map pools are quite different, but a lot of it is uh, the same. It's a little bit easier than qualifiers, but still a pretty hard pull. Yeah, absolutely. These maps are uh, definitely easy, but there are still some seven star, like ridiculous maps in here, man. Some of these maps are, I think, were meant to be easy, but they're still like, you're not going to see four ways on some of these maps, I feel. Especially, yeah. like, I can't wait to see the Nomad 2 in this match, especially because, like, there's there's a lot of aim in that map, and, you know, there's some of these stream players, they hate that in their, their, their stream maps. So, stuff, people like Dummy, especially, probably came, uh, that probably was his crux last week in the qualifiers. Um, so we'll see yeah, how he, he goes on struggle a bit. Hopefully. So it looks yeah, like the uh, Tasma here deciding on the ban order. You, you gotta wonder, did you ever prefer to go second or first, or did it ever actually matter? Um, since you were a captain in OWC, what are you? Uh, what are your thought processes going through when you uh, get asked that question? Uh, it depends on the team you're versing. If you're if you're not too sure with how they're going to perform, and in OWC that's that's never the case. You can always do your research. You can always find out, you know, some strengths and weaknesses of some of the players on the other team, um, especially coming from qualifiers where you, all the qualifier results are, you know, available to everyone. Um, I think the first pick. I think you definitely want to win that role because second ban. You can you can choose the ban order and always go second to see what they ban first. But if if you have the right, uh, if you're ready and prepared for the match, you'll never have the same ban idea as them. So first pick or second pick, that luxury is always a little bit the better in uh, an OWC setting, I feel. So winning okay. that role is super important. And I'm, I'm, I'm guessing Jordan LR7 stoked that he, uh, he pulled, pulled that one off. Because that is the first yep. role of OWC. And to start it out with a good role, very important. Because if you lose yep. that first role in <laughs> no OWC, balls. you're losing all of them. Yep, we can talk a little bit about the roster here. Of course, Thailand hasn't made uh, OWC every single year, so haven't got too much of a experience on that side. I think they've got about... Um, I'm not actually sure. I think they might have made groups last year, but Australia's made OWC every year since its uh, arrival. And we've got a few veterans on that Australian side. We've got, um, of course, Dummy, the OWC vet of that country. Um, and it's really just him as far as veterans go. You've got... Mostly new blood on this roster, you know, uh, LR7, Vivachi, Milo, and Suffix playing last year, but some real fresh blood in Arbusion and Mavs. Of course, this is Emrek's second OWC, and we can't wait to see what we get out of him, but excited for this yeah. team. Yeah, absolutely. I love the new blood on these teams. That's why I'm very excited for Thailand as well, because the new blood nowadays, yeah, unbelievable. Some of the players surfacing out of nowhere. Uh, it's, yep. it's like their, their, their ability to just come in and, and FC maps like it's nothing. Like they've got nothing, they've got no OWC history behind them saying, oh, I must FC. You go straight fresh into an OWC as a, as a, a new player that's just climbed like crazy. You, you'll have that, that, that boost to your system. 
Um, Both bands band though, them. missed them. No Mod 1 was the uh, the band from Thailand and then uh, and Free Mod, free mod, one mod 1 from Australia. Australia. So very interesting, very interesting. Yep. Uh, you know, I, I can see that banning away No Mod 1 from MREC. Why would you ever challenge him on AIM? You know, that's, that's probably mm. what I'm thinking as well. But uh, Free Mod 1 from Australia, a little, uh, little fearful of uh, Thailand's ability yeah, that, to play that map. That Free Mod 1 kind of, it plays like a, sort of like a No Mod 1, a lot of AIM, but a lot of anti-AIM as well. So maybe not too comfortable or they can't find the right players for the mods, but the Hard Rock 1's going to be the pick. And I got to tell you, I play this pull through, this Hard Rock 1 is tough. Like, of all the maps I played, this one felt the most difficult. Uh, for me and it's certainly one that is like the first week getting into this map this is tough this is like a an mrec milo or even a phantasma like a 1v4 performance probably this is just so ludicrous for a first map so hard excellent yeah because i see i see 192 bpm and i see almost seven stars already coming out around 32 so this is not easy at that bpm you know we got the cs 5.2 we got two minutes there's no length bonus adding to that 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 star rating, so it's actually just going to be, you know, some of those streams, some of that raw aim um, and raw difficulty. So yeah. I can't wait to see how some of these players perform. Um, first map yeah. going into OBC is a Hard Rock. Nerves are going to be really present. I feel Hard Rock's one of those mods that, uh, you know, you, you're going fresh into a match. Hard Rock, you don't want to first pick Hard Rock, I feel, because, you know, shakes are a thing, especially when everything's on the line. It is OWC 2022, after all, so... Yeah. No, absolutely. The nerves on this map, this first map is it, but you gotta understand, like, you gotta beat out those nerves with confidence and see which team can get the first map here, because that really does set a standard for the rest of the match. Yeah, Australia has a history of being a, a very snowball team, so you wanna you wanna snag that first pick from them um, immediately, to be honest. You wanna get you wanna get it away and, and get it running. So here it is. It's your Let's first have a look map. At this, uh... This lineup here, Phantasma, Chorus, Salvatore, Minecrafter on the side of Thailand, and we've got Jordan Lai, Emrek, Arbuz, and Milo. I'm expecting we're going to see Phantasma play every map for the side of Thailand, as that's what he did in the qualifiers. He was their crux, he was their, uh, you know, their anchor for a lot of their maps, really performing well. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of switch ups from the other players, though. They're all, uh, they've all got their, their t cup of tea they really want to play. But uh, here it is, it's your first map, Australia versus Thailand. Start us off nice with some hard rock one. Minecraft will be the first miss, unfortunately. Just getting out the gate though, it's fine. We'll get those nerves out, dude. It's all good. It's a tactical miss, I like to say. Uh -oh. Not from our boy Emrek and Chorus though. Three yep, misses immediately. He's... Salvatore dropping like flies. This is crazy. Yeah, you can see now just the difference. You're seeing the hard rock expertise come out from Milo, the only one standing with above 95%, and he's got the <laughs> 98. Emrek's actually joined him on that side, but. On the side of Thailand, no one's above 95, so they're all kind of struggling out of the intro, and Australia's got two FCs, and Emrek and Arboy really are working on that combo. Yeah, it's only one more FC on the side of Australia, but that, that overall act is doing nothing to help. Arboy, Abusion with another break, Phantasma with another break, Salvatore, but uh, combos are all on Milo and Jordan right now, and their act is, uh, is giving them that boost to be already 200k ahead, and we're halfway through the map already, so... Yeah, has to be now on that tough. one third, and that's not it. Oh, that Salvatore one third is so Warriors. tough. Those were filthy buzz sliders. All of oh, Australia managed Milo's to hit them. Gone. That's crazy. Milo's out now, though. It's just LR7 right now. The only FC left in the lobby. This map was so tough. You just see it. No one really too comfortable on the accuracy. Jordan LR is wow. going to break on that Quinn. High combo, Emrek. No one else really hanging with him right now. Arbusion is catching up. Yeah, these sliders are crazy, man. Oh. These sliders and bursts are just not okay. No FCs on the first map. But uh, Thailand just couldn't quite pick up the ball at any any point in this map at all. So just no leeway to get a, get a combo rolling, unfortunately. Yeah, Phantasma's kind of creeping in a little bit. It's not going to matter. The team difference is too much, but he might be able to run away with the top score of this map and set yourself a good standard for the, uh, for the rest of the match. Yeah, that would be big, taking down Emrec on the first map for OWC. That's that confidence. it. Bit of a fumble there, unfortunate. I reckon that's done it too. He had a good chance of getting the top score, but now it's a, it's a battle between Emrec and Arbusion. Arbusion, the rookie, is going to step in for his first map and deliver with a 640k topping the lobby. A very good performance there from Arbusion. Thailand just falling a little bit short. Some good scores coming out. Phantasma yeah. looking all right, but that was, of course, Australia's pick, and they're going to win it. Yep. Great first pick coming from Australia. If you don't know Arbusion, get used to these Hard Rock 1 performances, these Hard Rock 
too. You know, he's he's he doesn't mess around on those hard rocks. I look forward to seeing how uh, he goes in the rest of the tournament. But very unfortunate stuff from Salvatore Minecraft with the bees there, man. Just couldn't keep up with the AR-10. The the sliders just appearing out of nowhere, being full screens, man. That that was an yeah. awesome hard rock one. Yeah, it's um, really cool. It's extremely <laughs> difficult. <clears throat> yeah, oh, we're gonna wonder what. Got to wonder what Thailand's going to go with their next pick, with their first pick here. They are, they were really good on the DTs and the qualifiers. They, their best scores were on all of the DTs. Uh, relative to everyone else, they did beat Australia out of Nomad 2. So that is uh, probably something I expect them to look into. As this Nomad 2 is a bit similar to the last one. It's, it's a very hard Nomad 2 this week. Um, but yeah, we'll see what they get. Because it always feels awkward picking, you know, something your team's good at if another team's really good at it as well. Like DT, Australia renowned for that. Um, that DT roster yeah. they put together. I think uh, free mod might be another good option here because some of these these free mods are, are very very askew from the rest of the pool now. And Australia already showing that they're not too comfortable picking with mods. You know they banned that first free mod once. So I think I think a lot of the troubles that teams will have on on some of these free mod pools early is who's taking what mods and do we over mod because we're not into the late stage pools yet. Australia might be having a little trouble like deciding who wants to hard rock, who wants to hit, who wants to hit catch yeah. them on a free mod. You know. Uh, not, not a bad point at all. I've got to wonder if that, that pre-mod left open uh, is the CS6 AR8 uh, cranky or the CS5 AR8 AR and the other free mod is the speed one. They're going to go with the pre-mod yeah, 3. So there this it is. is the AR8 CS5 map. Yeah, I think this isn't a bad pick at all because I, 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 my guess, maybe one no mod from Australia, one hidden, two hard rocks because... Uh, Lots of hard rock players on this team. Lots of players that will, will play a free mod like this and be like, "Yeah, absolutely, dude. This is a this is a free hard rock." But compared to a no mod, a player that can play this no mod is it's always going to be you know way You'd way more play, scary because yeah. it's at, at AR8. You read AR8 well, you'll always come out with the best act versus a hard rock player. So and see who yeah, they bring to the, right uh, the lineup here. Fantastic. How do one do uh, Minecraft? Yeah, already in. Mavs, yeah, it's gonna be Mavs debuting here for Australia. So this will be his first map in of the tournament. Uh, he's that that player they added to solidify that hidden roster, I believe. And we're seeing a few players change on Thailand. Certainly, the side of um, Fantasma, Salvatore, Minecraft are all staying in. Yeah, expecting uh, Salvatore, Minecraft to probably be the, the nomads here, right? I, I feel like Fantasma will be the hard rock. Probably not the hard rocks from the bottom boys. So Kadama, maybe on the hidden. I reckon he's the hidden guy. Yeah, I'm looking at their, uh, looking at it, and uh, yeah, you've got Kadama playing a lot of the hidden, and Salvatore playing a lot of the hidden. So we'll have to see. Minecraft are probably going to step in with the hard rock here. He did get 727 on that hard rock in qualifiers, which is you're kidding. 727k, yeah, I know it's awesome. You got to be be feeling good about that. Oh, yeah. But yeah, Minecraft on the hard rock, double hidden on the side of Thailand, double hidden. That's psycho behavior. One hard rock, that two is... hiddens from them, and uh, we've got Dummy and Mavs on the Nomad. So actually, I thought Mavs would be playing the hidden, but uh, Emrex got that covered. You leave Emrex. Emrex, you do what you want, man. Let's leave. Yep. We, we leave. If Emrex says he wants that. to play hidden, he's playing hidden. Simple as that. It's, so Mavs, it's pretty simple. <laughs> Mavs, you jump on that Nomad, mate. Here we go. Second map. Nice little slow opener. No misses. We'd already seen 15 misses oh, oh. from the start of it's the map It's gonna be It's Emrek! It's Emrek out the gate That's again. Kadama following shortly behind, but already the accolade, man. Minecrafter on this hard oh. rock just can't keep up. Oh, it's 88%. Mavs needs to drop that SS soon. You know how nerve-wracking he gets holding SS, but Minecraft is gonna miss. Rocking that 88%, yeah. so his score's really That's gonna huge. diminish. He's the hard rock as well. You look at the hard rock on the side of Australia, oh. and it's a 96. Dummy out on that stream though, just ha somehow manages to miss aim that oh, it's just our boy dropping from high, that high up, but it's Arbusion time, baby. Once again on the hard rock, the 6.5 just doesn't phase him. It's our boy versus Salvatore and Fantasma right now. Advantage is on the oh, side of it's Thailand, coming. Thailand. Emrek has to hold on to this combo with the hidden, and it's arguably going to be the hardest way to play this map. Minecraft has got to fall, and so is Mavs. Arbution following suit. It's just Emrek on the side of Australia. Thailand's building up a significant lead with the double FC right now. Yeah, wow. This 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 double hidden almost going amazing because one of them's FCing. Kadama, he's just in it for the score boost. Phantasma is going off right now on the Nomad. This is this is so hard Nomad as well. Some of these bursts and stream shapes are not okay to follow. 
but oh, these go off are just absolutely Asma. slaying this. Look at this score from Salvatore. This is a 98% hidden score. It's looking really clean. If he can manage to pull this FC off, that'd be a terrific feat because they're running away with this. 200k Phantasma breaking. Everyone's catching up. Salvatore broke. I don't think there's enough time. Definitely not. No, the, the map is just well and truly over. Yeah. That's, he's well. done enough. Salvatore, absolutely stellar performance on the second map of this OWC match. Two misses right at the end, but man, he really, oh. he really put Minecrafter on his back there. On the back, yeah. But Minecraft, if you compare his score to like maps, it's not too far off, not too bad. So they were all, they're all being matched. The real outlier there being Salvatore with that hidden score is just ridiculous, dude. That is, that is scary if you're Australian now, because now you're scared of, of their hidden yeah. roster. It's 1-1 one, one already, Australia down, you know, it's, it's, they were, they're probably not expecting to lose a point in that fashion as well to two players with goaded scores. Emrek just couldn't quite keep up in the end as well, but uh, they caught him, they caught him with that, that free mod pick and it's just not as coordinated as the Tha Thailand team. They probably knew from the start, we're going to run two hiddens, we're going to run the hard rock, we'll leave it to you, Phantasma, yeah. but uh, great, he did well. great score, man. You got to wonder if Emrek has would practice uh, this, this map pool if that was a site re hidden score. Do you know how, how it goes with his practice regime? Does he does he practice the early round pools or is it just um, whatever with him? Yeah, look, I, I'm pretty sure he does practice because it's OWC, you know, it's it's yep. the event of the year. You put your name on, on the board with an OWC performance. So he needs everyone to know that he is MREC and he is, yep. you know, absolutely the best. So he should be practicing these maps. I was about to say, um, is it time for the Australia DT onslaught that we get every year? But we're yeah. actually we're <laughs> the finishing it up, is, dude. We're this finishing up the, the free mod pool. This is um, this is speed. This is DT. This yeah. is your no mod five slot from OWC this year has been transferred over to that free mod slot. A, a nice change. I really do uh, support it. I'm a big fan I of think it. It's great. But this map is tough. Like this is if you have the speed for it, it's right. But it's quite tough on the hidden and it's quite tough on the hard rock. CS. I think it's CS two, CS three. So. Huge circles. Yeah, so you shouldn't be missing on aim on this, dude. You just gotta keep up. You just gotta keep up with that left hand, and uh, we'll see how the the, the Thailand team performs. Because this this roster in from Australia, frankly, I don't see any of them missing in if they played this map six times over. To be honest, mm. so in a row, um, I don't think their their fingers would get cold at all. So, but they're not are, a slow team either. Like uh, in before and uh, who was it? It was is. Chorus, their speed player. Chorus is the the D, the speed player that we haven't seen yet. So he's stepping on now, and he had some really yeah. good scores in the qualifiers. Uh, Chorus and Phantasma, the two on that team to uh to watch. In before doesn't actually, from what I've gathered, it doesn't look like he likes to play a lot of speed. Um, oh, he's okay. mainly he'll be there that DT one <laughs> sort of thing, I, I assume. But the DT one's yeah. two seventy this week, and the other one's three hundred. So it's a bit of a this, tough this slot is... if you're a you know everyday average DT yeah. player right now. This is what I was excited to find out though, is is, is who's taking the mods. We we get that extra layer on speed maps. The last, the last couple of OWCs, we kind of have seen lots of, you know, four ways and, and all the stuff on the speed map. Because if, if you're fast enough, it, it, it's it's on you to miss and, and lose that. So adding adding the extra layer of, of mods can Ooh. really mess up some players. And Emrek, once again, three maps in a row is the first miss of the whole lobby. So, yep, that is definitely a, uh, I mean, we saw it, I, I think it was a few, the last OWC where he came off to a rough start and you just started to see him like after that, it was, he was on another level after that. So I don't think it's anything we have to really worry about, but four FCs on the side of Thailand and only Emrek, the, uh, the first one to break. Oh, Milo, there's Milo. Are. Milo, another break on the hard rock. We've got two hard rocks from Australia. Jordan LR on the hidden hard rock. Milo on the hard rock. Must be really going for that AR-10 boost. Two drops from Kadama and Chorus to match them. That little lead they had may just be on, on the wings here. So let's see Tommy if Dummy and, and Jordan, Jordan LR can bring it. Look at the accuracy of everyone in this lobby. Kadama the only one. Milo with him. Not on that 99, but it's high 99s as well. Like... All these players are comfortable, and it really is just going to come down to, you know, which one of these two uh, can FC. Yeah, we've we've dropped the the 99 from Jordan LR7 on the nine. Oh, Phantasma. Phantasma! It's a big break. It's well and truly in Australia's hands now to mess this one up. And Emrek and Milo, they they're bringing it back, dude. They 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 miss once, and that's enough for them. So Kadama. Oh, dummies out as well though. It's only 200k. Jordan LR7 misses, and we might He's have a bit of a, a comeback. Oh, the, the section the is so troll. 
Look at these buzz sliders, they're troll. Kadama's falling <laughs> completely behind. Kadama! There's no chance he lost getting at back least there. 50k there. I think it was about 5% accuracy, 3% oh, completely that just gone. That, that was really bad for the score, but LR7 gets a chance to see the break. Astray, you can see that they can close this out now. 99.4 from Chai. Chai, and it's, it's, yeah, it's, Chai. it's 60. <laughs> it really caught me there. He really almost got me there, but yeah. it's all good. He had 70k <laughs> score less than Jordan LR7 on the Hidden Hard Rock. So that, that, those mods are making such a difference in keeping the score in their, their, their domain. So it's 2.2 mil, 1.8 mil. Map is slowly coming to a close. Dummy's chain missing everywhere to try and give him a chance, but I don't think it's enough. Chorus is coming back with another combo, but Emrek, Milo, Jordan are all all four, oh, four they've brought it back. combos now. So yeah, this is starting. It's to, you're starting to see that it's it's more like a marathon and not a sprint with this map. It's a it's quite a long one. You're clocking in about three minutes, and it's just so intensive the whole map. It's one thing to be comfortable for 30 seconds, but for three minutes. That's when you're really separated, and that's you can see it now with the 99s on the side of MREC LR7, and it's just routine yeah. for the Aussies at this point. They always just win the speed, the speed. They always, they always pick it. Yep. Now exactly. we know why. And they've, they've already resorted to it, so you know you already know Thailand. They've, they've done such a great job to, to force them onto the speed already. Um, second yep. map into OWC because yeah, such a good roster. Seven star. When when a map is seven Look stars from Chai, CS3, man, it's crazy. Yeah, Chai rocking an 8-100 FC on the Nomad there. Really being that rock for that team. It's just a bit unfortunate the team wasn't there for it, but really solid stuff from Chai. Love to see yeah. it. Yeah, great stuff. Expect to see him and uh, all the DTs when they when they come up. But man, Jordan LR7. And he's out of there. I like FC that. Is, is, that's going to be one of the peak peak scores of that map for sure because that was great arc from Hidden Hard Rock on that map. So good stuff it's up to Thailand again though we've uh we we know what we should know what Australia is, is looking to do in these next couple picks so we we I'm might be wanting hidden. to steer clear of DT so I don't know what what's the move here do we do we dabble dabble in a little AR8 do we dabble I'm a little thinking... a little hidden aim or something maybe some alt I'm really thinking we go with one of the hidden here it, it feels like it makes the most sense we saw some of the Australian players struggling on that free mod and you know he was unmatched yeah. on the free mod hidden so I I feel like that that is a good avenue. <clears throat> yeah, it's absolutely it's awesome when you win the uh, the free mod that's CS5 and AR8 because it can't if so you win that you have the AR8 and the CS6.5 to kind of choose, pick and choose from maybe maybe try both of them because uh, it yep, might not there be there it is a wing and there it is great prediction from Monk the Don it w is going to yep. be the AR8 hidden hidden two here I have Aeon from, uh, Nissan this is a it's a crazy map. This is a very this is now a kind of a streamier map. Yeah. Yep. I now put this one in the in those tournament classics. Now they're just so solid. It tests exactly what it wants to test. You know your your default ARA hidden's got its streams, got its aim, and it's it's long as well. So you can't really get lucky on it. Yep. Vivarti uh... stepping in. Oh, the ARA prodigy. No one really talks about Vivace as the. Uh... You know, the AR8 hidden player of Australia, but I, sh I assure you he is. He has been scrimming AR7, AR6 for the last year, so I, I can't wait to see how he performs on this AR8 in the, in the, uh, the OWC. Kind of what he's been, he's been training for this whole year, but no slackers on the Thailand team. We already know these guys can play AR8, especially with yep. him from that free mod, so but this is going to be a good one. Going to be bringing uh, Emrek Dummy Mavs as well as Kadama and, and Chai Chep. Is, is what I'm going to have to refer, refer to that name as. I think it's Puck. I think that's actually what you'd say in Thai. Like, in Thai, it would make sense. But I like mm. Chai. Chai's, Chai's dope, too. I like Chai. But here it is. Australia's... Uh, Thailand's second pick. This was actually a custom map made for an Australian-New Zealand tournament as well, if you didn't know. Um, oh, was it really? WBC. Yeah, yeah, this was a custom map. No so these Australian oh, players, they've played it before. Vivace! Vivace! Be the first miss as well as Mavs. Oh, everyone's missing on the intro. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get to some of the streams here now. It was almost all the FCs were SSs. Actually, is that the case? <laughs> it was the case. But well, everyone it else is, uh, struggling out of that intro. Chai, a bit of a, 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 a struggle with that. Oh, oh, that's I not gonna that. help. That is yeah, not gonna I help. Saw that in slow motion. You just see his curse was a little bit too behind. AR8's one of my yeah, favorite things to watch, man, because it's such a such a big mistake that you, you see is actually such a small mistake that you can't even see when you're playing. Yeah, awesome. 
Chai really Every the only one that's missing here though. It's everyone else is kind of keeping up with these uh, these, these streams and uh, these slider jumps. It's good. Emrek is sporting that SS and he might oh, be fed up. This almost. Yep, not not spitting. We're, we're staying on the SS. Oh, Mav. no. Mavs gonna be the one to Drop break and give him a chance, but Faz Phantasma is right behind him with another chain miss on the stream. When you miss on this map, you miss you miss so much score because you're missing an entire stream. And oh, there it Chai is! And Mavs. Mavs and Chai again losing so much score. But uh you already know dummies Mavs, you. but look at Kadama and Salvatore on the side of Thailand. They're still sporting 99% FCs and it's matched by Dummy Emrek. Vivati as well with that 500 combo it would really take two of the Australian breaks, I feel like, to give Thailand the advantage here. It's close. It's still close. It's still in realms, absolutely, of uh, a possibility. Just need one break from Australia to make it 2-2 on the board. Get this, this match absolutely gas. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop looking at Emrek. I already know he's, he's not going to miss. Let's just watch Dummy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really on Dummy to not miss at this point. I was just <laughs> thinking the same thing. Eventually Emrek gets to that point where he's like, it's go time. And I think we're we're about to uh, watch that chess maze. He saw it in the qualifiers. I think he FC'd like the last seven maps in a row, so he does just hit a switch, but Chai oh. is really the only one struggling. Kadama's gonna find his first triple miss. part. Hardest part of the map, absolutely, is, is some of those triples and it's all streams oh. now. Kevin, the base, 50 misses at least on that stream. 50 misses, he loses 50k score for sure, but 600k is so hard to make back. Emrek Dummy just not having any of it. Salvatore oh, is doing his really absolute best, man. Salvatore really doing well again for the side of Tyler, but there's just no team. Unfortunate there. Australia with a 32, like 3.3 mil on that map's not bad at all. So putting up a pretty good team score on that map. Salvatore looking so good on the side of Thailand. Yeah. He, we, we know now that we know never mess with this guy in the AR8 because he, he will not miss, but he, he won't. Team. It's all right. It was 2v1 in that scenario, so. Now we get what back to the Australia. I'm assuming we're going to get that speed onslaught. Um, I was about to that, refer to it yeah. as the exact same thing. Yeah, <laughs> the speed onslaught. Um, it, it's kind of what you'd, you'd go for in this situation, right? Like uh, you run the first speed map. Looking at uh, putting yourself on match point and really bringing the pressure on Thailand to win that next pick, and Australia yeah, are known they, for that speed. And they must be worried though. If uh, Australia's picked the free mod first, they must be worried about uh, Thailand's DT scores and qualifiers because that was definitely where they had their best scores. They had their best Absolutely. runs on the DT maps, and they they almost kept up with Australia's qualifier scores on them. So they must be a little bit worried in case that was a bit of an underperformance from them. You can never yep, really just... tell, but. Uh, up to just Jordan for, LR7 uh, here. What are we, what are we just, thinking? Just for record, the Australian team only outscored Thailand by 200,000 on the hidden two from qualifiers. So it, it seemingly was the best pick, pick on research uh, to uh, for Thailand there. DT1. Yeah. This is this is juice. This is an awesome DT1. This this is sauce. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Fly away. We're at a uh, 270 BPM. 10.3. Um, and 10.3 for the first DT of this OWC. We we are not mucking around this OWC. We are hard. You you either are single tapping at mark speed or alternating this one. There's no in between. So yeah, this is this is your average DT one. It's certainly up there in terms of difficulty. There's not many too many bursts and quints. They do. I think the most is about five notes. Nothing too bad. But at 270 BPM and 10.3, the aim is quite intensive as well. I'm expecting to see quite a few misses on this map. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. All that fear, all that all that worry about Thailand's score. I think Australia's made the best move they could have and just cast that aside. No fear. We pick one of our best maps and that's DT1. Dummy, Emreg, Jordan LR, Marlo, Milkshake, sporting a complete, almost two-digit roster. Um, Dummy yep. was a little bit of an imposter there from him, but in before has finally showed up to the lobby yep. and I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what he can bring. Ithi as well. He's brought Ithi with him. These guys yeah, he brought waiting with him the whole time. Yep, waiting for that DT1 moment. Uh, in before, of course, notorious for his uh, really high ranking on the uh, 
on the leaderboard, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's like, he's 27 right now, so he's the second highest ranking here by quite a bit. Uh, it just goes Emrek, of course, is, uh, is <laughs> higher rank, just barely. Kind of a good bit. Yeah, no, oh, I yeah, look we forward can... to this. They could, they could take this. This, I'm looking at this map as a, as a definite map that Thailand could take, and that yep. evens the score immediately because you win this into your next pick. That's the chance for three, three versus Australia, and I, I guarantee everyone's pick them to look a little worried at that point. Not seeing Phantasma in on this map is a bit of a. Anyway, so it looks like maybe not too comfortable on that really high speed. It looks like he's going to be subbing in for um. Who's subbing in for him? Chorus. <laughs> yeah, Chorus is something in for him. He has an uh, from the qualifier scores, it's just Chorus. Yeah, awesome. I brought the best roster. We know what we're doing in this lobby. It's time. Time for uh, DT1, Australia's third pick. Of course, when you have a player like Emrek on your team, it always feels like you can just pick any DT and it'll sort of work out, or any map really. But especially the double time maps. Yeah. It, it kind of feels like you've got that, that leeway with a guaranteed FC on your team with Emrek. So. Uh, the entirety of Thailand is full ulting this map. And only going to be Milo ulting on the side of Australia. So you've already got that. You can see just the comfortability and the sync. A little bit of a buffer here. Okay, I thought that was me. I got mad worried. Uh, right. No, it's good. Good. Yeah, no, one broke. no one's broken. This is this is the longest we've gone without a break, and everyone is on really good act. Chai is going to be the Chai. first. Break. I was certain it was going to be Emrek. Wait, but Chai will be the first drop there. Was it? Did Jordan miss as well? And and I didn't see Jordan miss. What? Jordan, Jordan missed, and there goes oh, in the four. It's, it's dead even. One million Man, apiece. Chorus, <laughs> Ithi versus Emrex SS, and Milo Milkshake. Let's see how this goes. It's, it's flickering, it's nice and flickering. Let's keep that going for the whole map, at least until the next break. Let's get everyone as nervous as possible. This is, this was the pick. This was absolutely the pick. Just look at them now, on the ropes. 1.5 million apiece. Oh, Chai, Chai again, the... no. The second miss the map. Break that even. Emrek still holding that ridiculous head head. These, these 270 star patterns, man, they really oh, keep going. There's Jordan LR and there's Chorus. It was the FC on the side of Thailand, so yeah. advantage Australia, heavy advantage Australia, as Milo and Emrek is still just juicing this. Yeah, if he's... Oh, oh, oh if he's, he's in the run before the break! That is the most tragic game. Oh, he missed oh. the last two notes, dude. Bit of a that finger is... fumble or something from him there, but Emrek... Milo <laughs> Milkshake is going to be it. your... Uh... Oh, Emrek SS really is a little worrying. 99 points. Oh no, it's really Emrek right now. It's just oh, Emrek. Who brought this along? Did we really need this? It's all good, dude. We'll just SS it. Milo with a tragic break at the end as well. And I mean, in before, he, he did his best to bring it back in the end with some of those Is he? some of those jumps at the end. are so hard. Oh, and he yeah, pulled it back. But, <laughs> but an SS from Emrek is, is kind of hard to beat. So that's it's, going to be Australia's it's... point there. What a Great score we just witnessed. It's so typical. It's just so typical. Emrek, so the only, bothered. the only FC in the lobby is gonna be the SS. It's definitely the sort of thing you expect to see uh, come out from a player like Emrek. But in before with that early miss does make up for it by holding through to the end. Ithi, that unfortunate timing. Cause of course, putting up oh. great scores. They just weren't enough to uh to beat the Australians there. It's, they kind of gave them an opening. You know, you don't expect to see. LR7 and Dummy with uh with those misses on the DT1, but yeah, it can happen. Nah, dude, Ithi in before Chorus was so close to just three FCs, just tiny, yeah. tiny micro mistakes that they made somewhere in that last half of the map or first half of the map is, is so unfortunate because that was an, a beautiful three-way for them. Just one miss or one fumble Ooh, each on all of them. It's straight into DT3 after this that. Is, they, they felt a little is an more confident thing. on DTs. This no is like a Nomad 2. This is just like, it's so awkward. It's so much tapping. It's a lot of finger control this map. Uh, not so much speed, but I think it's about 230. Uh, maybe it's 240, but it is it is that stamina finger control DT pick. This is the one that if you see a single 99 on this, that's ridiculous because it's just so hard to act this map. 
Yeah, potentially uh, Thailand's last pick here. So they've, they've picked this knowing, hopefully knowing that this was uh, their best option. And after that DT1, I wouldn't be worried because that was three tragic misses. What could have been easy three FCs going into yep. another DT is clearly our comfort zone. We just got to pull through. We got to perform better on this match. And that's, that's, that's what's going to bring us back into this game because no one wants to go out a 5-1. We want to put another point on the board, give us one more chance for a third, and then maybe, maybe, maybe push that tiebreaker. It starts now Absolutely. for Thailand, though. Start so now. it starts right now on this map. And this is it. There's no WC. You leave it all out on the field. You always trying your hardest on this in this tournament. The players give it their all. They a lot of them. They work hard to get here. You know, this is the point. This is yeah. this is the mountain top. This is the goal for a lot of players. So yep. got to leave and it all out on the field. we back in. So we we we. We're not mucking around. We're back. Phantasma is before Chorus Chai. It looks, looks so promising on oh. a map like this. And with Milo, bit of a... Might have been Banjo, but that button. was like six misses. No, that was real. Look at this score. Mouse buttons? No, I don't know. Oh. We're starting from... We're starting... Starting at the bottom of a hill at this one, but... A long map. Uh-oh. Something Another one right from Milo, Milo setup, I assume. Something's just gone slightly off, but... I've seen three v happen chance. before it. That is the chance, Phantasma. Oh. Phantasma, unfortunately, going to be that break there, but this is the chance. You know, Milo's still giving them way more of a score deficit from that intro, and another miss from him there. Something's struggling on this map. We must have made a bit of a mistake somewhere, because uh, if it keeps going like yeah, this, Thailand's going to have the start to that comeback story. Exactly, and no one really holding too great act. Chai and in before 99. Jordan, LR7! A huge miss there. Rather shocking to see a miss come out there, but Chai and in for Core is looking so damn solid. The accuracy is so high on the side of both teams. It's just Milo and Jordan below yeah. 98. This isn't as, this map isn't as long as you think as well. We're already ha over halfway uh, into the map, so we've seen that first break. If Tyler oh! keeps it together, it's theirs. And in before with that tragic slider break, I think it was. Timing, yeah, just the worst oh. timing to miss. The middle and the the free combo is coming so back. It's slowly going to start The lead back. is 200k. You know, we've got a bit of a buffer, but we've got to hold. We've got to, we've got to keep all the action. No, as Chai. As we can. Chai, that's not all we need. Chorus it's man has chorus. really, really got to hold their own here. But Emrek is coming. Emrek and Dummy are inevitable here. We need a break from at least one of those two players before it's too late, and it's coming oh, fast. It's coming. Marlon yeah, and Jordan have here. not missed in the last 500 combo. The bus is here. Someone jump off. No, it's, it's there looking it is. like Emrek and Dummy. This classic right here. This is their bread and this butter, you know. Dummy. This is Vintage Dummy. He does this every single year. He's played these type of maps for almost a decade now, so nothing new on the side of oh. that. But to em Emrek, with his, it, it, all it takes is him to see... It's sort of like basketball players. They see the, the shot go in the net once, and then they hit every shot. It's like Emrek with maps. He gets one FC, he just doesn't stop. And that is it, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Australia are going to be your winners of the round of 32 match going up against Thailand. A quick match. They did show a little bit of weakness, and Thailand did kind of come strapped with it. So they were looking pretty good on some of those hidden in that free mod. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thailand was definitely strapped with it, as you said on that one. But uh, it's a very tragic... Very tragic couple of misses in there that really cost a lot, but Australia, they could have lost that. I, I'm not saying that, that wasn't a stomp, that 5-1, that, that felt like it was a little little generous towards Australia with how Thailand played some of those maps, and, and shout outs, you know, shout outs to Fanta Phantasma for some of those early maps, and yeah, it was, that was awesome. That was a great match um, in the end, so, but yeah, uh, they will be heading stuff. down to the loser bracket. Yep, of course, this is, uh, there is a loser bracket for this one, so I'm not too sure who Thailand will be bursting. Um, I'm not sure if that's been decided yet, but Australia will advance through to the next round. We do have plenty more OWC matches ahead of you. I believe there's one at the start of every hour from here on out, um, as we'll get the schedule up in a little bit. But yeah, a great performance there. We saw a couple of the rookies from Australia. Abusion looking really good um, on the side of Australia yeah. there, that rookie. And We'll see what what future what the future has for more of the players. But here we go. Here's the schedule now, and we've got.